Alright everyone, what's going on? My name is Far World and I'm back with a Halo commentary today and the thing I'd like to talk about is where did it all go wrong for Halo 5? I mean, personally, in my opinion, I think Halo 5 did a lot of things right and like it had a ranking system at work and well, it worked to an extent and then you had like Warzone which, while it isn't my cup of tea, still did reasonably, reasonably well and you had free DLC that was given out. Not many developers can say that. And so it didn't filter the community out, uh, and everyone stayed in one place, and was able to access the DLC. So, on paper, I'd say the Halo Five was a good game. Like, it won like loads of um, like commendation sort of things, like best multiplayer and best shooter at the Game Evolution Awards, as well as being nominated for loads of others on like IGN that sort of thing. It also has the HCS, which is like the competitive ranking, uh, competitive league in Halo and that still runs now even a year after launch but I think that's where the problem comes from it's a year and it's just it's just strange because a game comes out for a year and you, you'd want it to last a year but I don't think it has I think it only lasted like six months at like for the most for most players and it is strange because the player numbers just drop and I don't find the game interesting anymore. I don't know if it's just because I'm like getting old or whatever and I don't find video games as like exciting and it doesn't have the same sort of appeal as it used to. Or maybe it was because like, I don't know, I was like a good I was a good player and I felt entitled to carry my team and then I'd be frustrated when I didn't and then I just wouldn't play anymore. But as well as this, I'd say that the game has very little repeat value. And the short time frame of the seasons, the ranked seasons, meant that you often found yourself going in circles. Because, say, if it was like every month. And look at League of Legends, that's like once a year. And I know I know you can't really compare because they're completely different, but... it's I think once a month was too short for the seasons, and it didn't give enough time for progression. And when you got re-ranked, it just put you in a lower tier than you were, like, previous seasons, so... And it just wouldn't work, really. I think the seasons had to be longer. However, I think the main reason Halo 5 didn't succeed in the way it really needed to is the constant need from fans to remake the old games, specifically Halo 3. I'm not exempt from this either. Like I put myself in this category as well. I love that game. Like so, It was something of an absolute masterpiece. And would I want to see it, Halo 3 remastered for Xbox One at some point at 60 frames? Yeah. Will it be well received? Yeah, probably. But will they do it? Nah, I, d I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. 343 did the Master Chief Collection and Halo 3 was part of it. And while MCC was nowhere near perfect, it still allowed players to play Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 4 on the Xbox One. Which was the, like, that was the first Halo game for the new Xbox. But... Why would Halo, why would 343 remake a game from 10 years ago that Bungie made that's already available on the Xbox One? Wouldn't it just be a step backwards and wouldn't actually do anything for the games going forward in terms of new features and content? Maybe like follow the COD sort of scenario at the moment and bring a remastered version of Halo 3 out alongside Halo 6, for example. And But, but what if they messed up the remaster? Where would that leave us? Where... With all the people that were so hyped for Halo 3 Go, they would, they would, they would just leave. And I think the problem is, we, we, I think it's better to leave Halo 3 where it is, in that state of absolute perfection, on the Xbox 360, and the re and the version on the Master Chief Collection, which still works fine. You just struggle to find matches on there, but. I think that's what people miss, is the online aspect of Halo 3, which you can't really get with MCC, because that game died out pretty damn quick, and it, I don't think you're going to find Halo 3 online for quite some time. Now, I think we should just appreciate it for what an unbelievably good game it was, rather than butchering the current games for not being something that was 10 years ago. We, we can't just expect the same mentality to be present across developers and across a decade. Like, does that really, is that really like 
a vision that we should be having. We, I think we need to stop living in the past. And appreciate gangs for what they are. Not what their predecessors were. Anyway, guys. That's all from me. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. My thoughts are probably the same as yours regarding Halo 3. I want to see it remastered. But, what can you do, eh? That's all from me. Like, subscribe, to in Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.